Hey, good morning everybody. It's Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters, Mesquite Lagoon Site Fishing Charters, and Florida Near Shore Fishing Charters, located here in East Central Florida in New Smyrna Beach, Cocoa Beach, Daytona, just east of Orlando. And today what we're going to do is um, we're going to install, I'm going to show you how to install a um, marine water fuel separating uh, fuel uh, filter assembly. Um, uh, you got the filter, the, uh, the bracket and everything right here. Basically, if you're not familiar with this, we are putting together a GNU Low Tide 25 with a um, 25 horse two, uh, 2021 uh, four stroke outboard. And um, living in Florida, we get so much humidity, water. Um, it's always good to put in a water fuel separator. Basically, it just does what it says it separates the water from the fuel. Um, we're going to install it back here on this bracket. We've got a couple holes already drilled in against the wall there on the transom. Um, the Micro 10 mini filter here by Yamaha is up to 115 horsepower uh, so you know you're good to go until you have to get a bigger one now what I will do is this is basically um, um, just a generic video here I'm not gonna go over hole sizes or bolts or anything like that but what we're gonna do is um, the filters you're gonna go in there's your fuel tank there's the line from the fuel tank. It's gonna go in right about here, then out of the filter to the bulb to the engine. Just remember that, that you're gonna put it in before the bulb, okay? And now, whatever directions come with your water fuel separator, I highly suggest you uh, read those. Just go by those, don't go by this video. This is just a generic video to show you a quick mounting procedure and all that kind of stuff. Uh, this is a Yamaha one. It offers you an in, an in, an out, and an out, just depending on what kind of setup you want. I've already started to rig mine. Um, you're going to need some gasoline Teflon tape that's gasoline approved, the correct fittings for your hoses, and then some rings to, to, you know, to tighten it on your hoses. So let me go ahead and get all this hood up, hooked up, cut the hose, we'll get it in there, and I'll show you. When I bolt that in against the wall, this thing's going to be in here for the life of the boat. I'm going to put a couple of squirts of the uh, 5200 there and the two holes we've got driven drilled back there and um, we'll go from there all right so we got the bad boy screwed in there with a couple stainless steel bolts and uh, we're gonna put the um, filter on now, I'm gonna tell you right now before you put the filter on you're gonna want to coat the ring the top of the rubber ring with some oil or at least with Yamaha's you do let me grab the filter real quick and we'll put it in there Okay, so I got the filter out. As you can see on top, I coated it with a little bit of motor oil, just the same oil I use in the engine, just as long as it's some kind of oil on there. What that does, that'll help the seal. I coat the threads. Um, let's screw it in there now, and uh, we'll see if everything is kosher to say. I don't know if I can clamp this right here. There we go. All right, so this bad boy is just going to screw up into there. I know it's dark in here. I don't have a light for this video. There we go. So now, also right here on the filter, there's a white spot. You can write the date. That way you know when to change them. So now the rule is just to hand tighten it. Don't tighten it too tight because you'll never get it off of there. So that right there ought to be good. I usually change mine about every two, three months. Um, you know rather be safe than sorry for 20 bucks preventive maintenance it's worth it all right so now you just hook the hose up to the engine hook the hose up to the tank and now you have a marine water fuel separator in there this is captain drew cavanaugh with florida inshore fishing charters mesquite lagoon site fishing charters and mesquite or florida nearshore fishing charters and everybody have an awesome day thank you